Maritime industry serves as one of the head, if not the backbone of the country. Hence, the vulnerable students attempting to pursue their education in maritime have been having a greater challenge when it comes to the fee payment. Hopefully, where there is a will, there is a way. Today, Maritime Authority of Kenya has introduced MET, Maritime Education and Training Program, in collaboration with Higher Education Loan Boards, help making their way to give financial assistance to the students by uplifting the blue economy sector, impacting both skill and knowledge to the students at large on the same. And we are here basically for a historic occasion. Uh, because uh, we are creating a very strong pillar for the development of the maritime sector, uh, also known as the blue economy. In creating certificates that are recognized across the globe on the maritime, schools is one startup, as well as the blue economy. P.S. Nancy Karagithu emphasized the historical phenomenon of the signing of the contract by HELB, changing the lives of many. So we signed a memorandum of understanding and today we are here to witness the signing off of the administrative contract between the HELB and Kenya Maritime Authority to create a scheme that is going to support young people to undertake studies in the sector, to be able to work. Let me start by saying that uh, this is a very important sector, it's a sleeping giant and a lot of activities are now happening with government uh, in order to ensure that uh, the industry takes off. You know also the president in July 2019 uh, launched the Bandari Maritime Academy as a stand-alone training institution for the maritime sector. Uh, the other thing we need to understand is that because of the international nature of the sector, shipping particularly, which is the strongest component. Safety permeates every action we do, and therefore it is regulated from the international perspective. On the flip side, Robert Njue, Director General of Kenya Maritime Authority, highlighted the significance of training the students. For signifies a critical component of all young people in the country, who would wish to venture into the maritime sector. It is a sector that uh, has a lot of opportunities and one way to help the youth uh, get these opportunities is to help them get into the skills. As, as an authority to execute the MOU that was signed last year, uh, we shall continuously now through help support the youth uh, who are needed through various uh, who are going to be vetted through various ways by help, who have that competency. Uh, and every year we shall continuously support that scheme. In line to that, to help this uh, work is uh, to also, we shall work closely with the Badari uh, Academy, the Maritime Academy, and the lesson is so that we complete the triangle. Then with the Badari Academy is work closely to see that uh, as a regulator who implements international obligations for the country that Badari is able then to offer uh, uh, the skills and the training for those who will get support through help and uh, consequently Badari has all the necessary tools, the necessary equipment and the necessary support from Kenya Maritime Mobility in England to quality control of the curriculum uh, and equipments that are required. Bringing in the funding scheme would open up many doors, not only for the student persuading their education, but also the revolving of the fund being monitored, says Charles Riguera, CEO of HELP. If you look at the current framework of HELP funding, we are only funding TVET within um, the TVET uh, within the Ministry of Education, and therefore, because um, the students who are pursuing uh, maritime studies or they want to pursue careers in that area, they were then not being funded. We have gotten into partnership with other agencies who are students who are not necessarily supported by our education loans board and therefore we combine our effort together and bring in the aspect of revolving funds. Now, 
Oh, the cameras are dirty. I didn't know that the cameras are dirty. Yeah, so we, we have uh, come into partnership with like-minded people who are able then, we are able then to create uh, revolving funds. We have such uh, other funds like uh, the one we are now starting today, which is uh, the MED Fund, or Maritime Education and Training Revolving Fund, because we have the muscle and the Act of Parliament which gives us the power to be able to make the funds revolve. What does that mean? It means that the selection process of the student or the young ones who are finishing their high schools and they want to get into this space um, of advancing their careers in maritime, they will have to be screened in terms of applying for the loan. So they will apply for the loans and bursaries, whether they're in Bandari College or any other college that will be told by the funder, in this case, uh, Kenya Maritime uh, Authority, and any other funder that might want to come on board because the framework we signed as I said late last year with the State Department of uh, Maritime and Shipping, saying that other funders can also come on board. So one of the funders that has come on board now is KME. Maybe next one will be KPA. We don't know who else will be coming to be able to create a huge, uh, a huge fund for all the students with aspirations to go through these uh, you know, uh, studies and make career out of it. But what happened to the students who have been placed in CRB, sir, and ought to take their loans? Kuna tatizo kidogo ambayo wa Kenya wajui maneno ya CRB. CRB, sio kusema ukiweka kwa CRB, hautaweza kuchukua mkopo. In fact, ukisha omba tu mkopo mara moja, tunakuweka uko, you are listed positively. Sabu CRB ni ya kukusaingia kujenga kitu inaitwa credit score. Ukiwa na credit score nzuri, ni kuonyesha ya kwamba ukienda kuomba pesa wewe utapata mkopo na riba ambayo iko chini sana sababu wewe ni mulipaji mzuri kama ulipi mzuri saa nyingine unaruka saa nyingine haujalipa then score yako pia inaenda chini kuonyesha kwamba ukienda kutafuta mkopo be ile utachanjiwa na bank ama mwenye anakupea pesa riba yako itakuwa kwa hali ya juu kama hii pesa ambayo unaona kaya mimi sasa inaweka hapa kama ule anachukua hii pesa atalipa basi ule kisasi kijacho akitaweza kupata hii pesa kusoma kwa hivyo hiyo ni ile masomo ambayo tunafanya kwa wale watu wanakuja kuomba kwetu Francis Vuya acting CEO of Bandari Maritime Academy came on board as one of the beneficiaries of the scheme in the academy appreciating the initiative made Seems like light will be seen at the end of the tunnel. Reporting for Al-Shifar TV, I'm Dalila Hamza.